Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a weekly reading for April. Okay, and please be mind these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, okay? Um, and yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. We're going to look into the energy of your person and see how they're feeling, what's on their mind, what they're thinking about, okay? So let's see what's going on. Spirit, how is this person feeling about my Scorpios? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Spirit, how is this person currently feeling about my Scorpios? How, is, how does this person feel about my Scorpios? Okay. So we have the Six of Swords. Okay. And the High Priestess. Okay. So I feel like this person secretly wants to take things further with you. Okay, Scorpio, um, I feel like with the Six of Swords here, um, you and this person probably had an ending here because it's like this person, they want to come back in with the Six of Swords. It's like they want to, you know, they want things to, you know, go right between them, between you and them. And it's like, you don't know this. You don't know that this person wants to take things further with you. Okay. It's something unexpected and it's something that you're not going to know. Okay. But this is literally what's on their mind. This is what they're thinking. They're thinking that they want to take things further with you. And they want to, um, I feel like they want to leave the past in the past and just be happy and just, you know, be positive. You know, they just want you and them to, you know, not have such hate, such hate towards each other. Okay. They want positive, positive vibes, positive thoughts. Okay. Yeah. We have the emperor here. Okay. So. I feel like this person, they want to be in control over the situation. They want to be in control over you. Okay. I feel like this person, they want to be the bigger person and really go for after what they want. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got to do that over you guys. I'm sorry. Spirit, how does this person feel about my Scorpios? We have the three of wands, you guys. Okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay, Aries or Sagittarius. But I feel like with the three of wands, the three of wands can mean two things. It can mean that this person is planning to do something or they're waiting. Okay, and I feel like this person is planning. All right, because we have the six of swords here. Okay, this person is planning to come back in. Okay, they want, they're thinking about what they should do. They have, they're being very strategic. Okay, they're thinking about how can I get back to my Scorpios? How can I get them to get my attention? How can I get their attention? Okay, they really want to be the bigger person to go for after what they want and really have you back in their life. Okay, but we have the four of cups here. All right. Um, I feel like this person, they're thinking that you may reject them. Okay, they, they're they thinking that when they come in, Scorpio, you are going to reject their offer. All right. Because they want to offer you this commitment. They want to offer you some type of, you know, divine connection here. But they feel like they're getting this energy that when they come in, you're going to reject their offer. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here, you guys soulmate connection this person views you as their soulmate this person views you as like we're meant to be with each other this person they want to be a couple okay scorpio this person they want you they want to have a relationship with you they want to have a commitment with you all right but they're scared that you don't feel this way about them it's like they want to have this you know they want to be with you but they're scared that you don't want to be with them Okay, I feel like this person, they have a lot of love for you, but they feel like the energy isn't reciprocated. Like, they don't, they think that you don't love them, okay? Because this person, they have a lot of love for you. They they have so much emotions for you. I feel like you make this person very emotional, um, Scorpio. And it's like, they just want to be with you. Yeah, we have the full card at the bottom of the deck. This person is going to take this, this leap of faith. They're going to go after what they want, and what they want is you, Scorpio, Okay, and they don't want rejection. They feel that you may reject them when they come in. And this is 
really making them nervous, okay? But yeah, this person is planning to come forward. Okay, Scorpio, I don't know if you know about this, but yeah, you don't know about this because this is the high, we have the high priestess here. This person is keeping it a secret that they're coming back in. Okay, you don't know that they're coming in. They're planning it. They're, you know, they're keeping it in mind that this is what they're going to do. This is what this is what they're planning to do to get you back because they view you as, you know, their soulmate. They want to be with you. They have love for you. Okay, so let's see how else. Spirit, how does this person feel about my Scorpios? Okay. Wow. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Devil, and the Nine of Wands. Hmm. Nine of Wands, the Devil, and the Seven of Wands. Okay. The Nine of Wands. They feel like you are having your guard up, Scorpio. Like you aren't like you aren't playing with them. Like you are not with their BS and you are not with their games. Okay. You have your wall up. They feel like you have your wall up. Okay. And that's why they're scared of rejection because they know that you aren't playing with them after what happened, okay? If this person mistreated you, they know that. And now it's like this person, they feel your energy. They feel that you are not playing with their games and that you have your wall up against them, okay? You're being very guarded. You're guarding yourself. You're not letting anybody in who doesn't satisfy you, who doesn't make you happy, Okay? And they feel that. They feel that you are giving this type of energy towards them. All right? Yeah, the Seven of Wands. They feel you being defensive. They feel that you are going to, like, that like you are not with the games. Okay? Like, you're like, okay, if you're going to come in, you could come in, but don't play. Don't play with me. Don't, I don't, I'm not with the games. Okay? If you're going to come in, come in right because you're not going to mess up my mental health and mess up what makes me happy. Okay? And this is how they feel. They feel like you are going to give this type of energy towards them. And they know that. And that's why they were planning. Their, they want to do things right. They know that they have to come in right because they know that you are not with their BS. Okay? We have the devil here, you guys. Capricorn energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're in love with you. They're in love with you. They want to have this commitment with you, Scorpio. They want to have this with you. They want reunion. They want marriage. They want commitment. They want a relationship with you. Okay? And it's like they feel sad without you. Okay? The Five of Cups is also about regret. Okay? So if this person mistreated you, Scorpio, they regret it. Okay? They're very ashamed. They feel sorry for what they did. And they know that you're giving off this energy. That's why they're feeling upset. And this is why they're feeling sad. This is why they're feeling regretful. Because they know that you are not with their games. And they, they feel that you are never going to accept them again. But they're trying their hardest to get back to you. Trying their hardest, you know, to make sure that you and them are going to be close. And make sure that you and them are going to forever be strong. They're obsessed, okay? This person is obsessed with you, okay? I feel like last reading, Scorpio, they you guys also have the devil card here. But yeah, I do feel like this person is obsessed with you, okay? They view you as somebody so attractive, okay? Very handsome, all right? And they're going to try to get back to you, Scorpio, okay? But um, let's see what... What message spirit has to say? 
What does Spirit have to say for my Scorpios? Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding this person? What messages do you have for my Scorpio Spirit regarding this person that they're dealing with? What messages do you have for this person, Scorpio? I mean, <laughs> Scorpio. Spirit, okay. We have take action, you guys. Okay, this is this person's energy. They're going to take action. They're trying to take action to come forward towards you. Okay? We have look for a sign. All right? Spirit wants you to know, um, Scorpio, to look for a sign that this person is going to, you know, you're gonna see that this person is coming. You're gonna you're gonna know it, okay? And so this very wants you to know to look for a sign because this person is gonna try to do something to make you to let you know that they're coming back in, okay? And spirit wants you to know to look for a sign because this person is coming to take some sort of action here, okay? Then we have a year from now, all right? Um, I don't know if that may resonate with everybody i don't think that's going to resonate with everybody because this person is coming in now it's like they don't want to wait and i don't think this person is coming in a year now okay all right so let's see what's their energy spirit how does this person feel about my scorpios what's their energy Okay, we have keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, and one night stand. It's so funny to me because Aquarius just got this card, you guys. And so maybe you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, but this person is trying to make a decision. Yeah, the three of wands, they're trying to decide what to do, okay? They know what to they know what they want, but they're trying to figure out what to do because they know that they have to come in correct. All right. We have healing heart, freeing. Freedom what? Okay. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay. All right. So then we have stab in the back, you guys. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this person caused a lot of pain in this situation, in this connection that you had with them. Um, Scorpio, and they're realizing that. They're realizing what they did. They're realizing their actions. And this is why they want to come back in, okay? We have a cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. All right? I feel like this person could, could be looking back at old text messages, okay? All right? Because, baby, they miss you, okay? They can't stop thinking about you. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Then we have the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, and listening to ego. Okay, yeah, I feel like it's this person's ego that's also making them hesitant, all right? But yeah, you guys, so this is going to be the end of this reading. If it resonated with you, don't forget to give this video a fat thumbs up. Comment down below because I'm very interested in hearing you guys' story on this. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And... I'll see you guys soon. Bye.